September 7th, 2016. Hi folks. It has been a while since I have been able to provide updates regarding the Planet X Nemesis system. The past several weeks have been extremely harrowing. I'm not sure how to best express my emotions and my feelings about the turn of events recently, other than to say they are just a taste of what we can expect to take place in our near future. When the wall of water came rolling in unexpectedly and to our utter amazement, it was as if the world had been turned upside down. On August the 11th and 12th, we were hit with an astonishing 30 plus inches of rain, a storm with no name that inundated all of the surrounding streams, bayous, and estuaries, all of which overflowed with extreme velocity, completely swallowing miles upon miles of homes, schools, and businesses in dozens of parishes here in southern Louisiana. According to the FEMA reports, more than 100,000 homes were completely or partially destroyed in this historical flood, what is now referred to by the media as the Great Flood of 2016. I can't begin to tell you how many lives have been affected by this catastrophic event, but the numbers must be staggering. One thing I have come to understand about this event is that ordinary people are never prepared for this type of sudden devastation. This type of event enters as a thief in the night and leaves behind total devastation and destruction in its wake. The government wants to call this weather-related event a 500-year occurrence, but I know better than to label this as such, and so do many of you. This is happening all too often now. One only has to look back to the recent floods in West Virginia, Maryland, South Carolina, and Kansas to realize that our weather has gotten out of control. We are now at the mercy of Mother Nature, and she is in no mood to play games. Those of us who reside in Louisiana understand this all too well. It was just 11 years ago that we dealt with another horrific flood in New Orleans when Hurricane Katrina wreaked its havoc in this region. So these are not 500-year events. And to classify them as such is creating an injustice to those who are suffering because of these unprecedented events. So the cleanup has begun. It is a long and tedious process. There are some who will never fully recover, as is often the case in events of this magnitude. There are some who actually believe this cannot happen to them. They think that because they are classified as living in a non-flood zone, they will be protected from the floodwaters. But they are mistaken. This is just a fallacy. When the rains come and continue coming, there will be no place to hide and no place to go for refuge. Everyone will be affected in some way or another. And this is no more true than right here in this region of Louisiana. So my advice to you is this. If you think this cannot happen to you, then think again because it can happen and it will happen. Maybe not now, but when you least expect it. I would like to turn my attention now to what matters in the long term, and that has to do with the visualization of an incoming rogue system that will have consequential effects on this planet and its inhabitants. Some of you are having difficulty foreseeing or contemplating the arrival of a series of mysterious planets and moons that are a part of the Nemesis system. 
I have attempted in previous videos to explain this in a way that would be less confusing to our viewers. But often the truth about this system is flawed by those who wish to divert attention away from this subject by casting doubts about its existence. So exactly what is the truth when it comes to Planet X and its existence as a nemesis system? First of all, you have to distinguish the difference between Planet X and Nibiru and what we refer to as nemesis. Each of these is different and distinct in their characteristics and in their role as a governing body in our solar system. So let's examine each of these. Nemesis is a dark star, or what we would call a brown dwarf. It is only visible in the infrared, so therefore invisible to the naked eye. Planet X Nibiru, known as the comet planet because of its distinct trail of debris, is an extremely large planet, one of seven bodies that orbits Nemesis in an outermost orbit. This planet is visible in the light spectrum and has been spotted on numerous occasions using various objects of technology. Recent captures of this system would indicate that what has entered our system is in fact a mini solar system complete with a dwarf star at its center and several orbiting companions with a debris field of comets and asteroids that comprise an area of several hundred thousand miles in diameter. However, there are some in the community of researchers that say this is a dwarf star that cannot be seen and is not accompanied by any other celestial entity. And yet evidence to date would paint a different picture, one that includes a series of entities that have entered into our solar system. Let's begin with scientific photographic evidence that describes a system of planets. The South Pole Telescope captured an image of this system eight years ago, in 2008. These objects can be seen in the visible light spectrum, as I have emphasized in my video presentation back in May of 2014, which was entitled Two Suns in the Sky, Nibiru Approaches, and also in the June of 2016 video, Wing Globe, Nibiru Appears. It is also important to note that as Nemesis draws closer to the sun, as it appears to be doing, that it will surely become more visible here on Earth. There is also some scientific evidence that points to the two-sun phenomenon as being real. I presented what I have determined to be credible evidence in my video, which was published just one week prior to the Great Louisiana Flood of 2016. I would also encourage you to examine the evidence and the research that is being presented to the public in the PDF presentation by Diamond Starlight Beacon at the address listed here. It provides just about everything you need and want to know about the Planet X system. The Nibiru Nemesis system is now entering at the edge of our inner solar system. The Blue Star Kachina of Hopi Prophecy and precursor to the Red Star Kachina, Herculobus, is being sighted more and more. As I had indicated in my video presentation, Blue Star Kachina appears. We are on the verge of very catastrophic events, as I have bared witness to just recently. There is, however, another Planet X end time scenario to be considered. In the video entitled Red Star Kachina Approaches, the final shift begins, I emphasize that the reason the Red Star Kachina will come upon the Earth suddenly and catch the world in surprise is because most of us are still unaware that this unseen nemesis is approaching, due in large measure, to the secretive nature of the world powers, or what will become the New World Order. So regardless of what you call Planet X or its system, it is in all reality a second sun system, 
it is very much a reality, and can be seen and photographed. After siphoning through the disinformation about sun dogs and lens flares and sky anomalies, we can then determine and analyze the truth from the misinformation, and have the courage to accept what is real, that the Nibiru Nemesis system, which is a mini-solar system, is now visible. The public deserves to know the truth about Planet X in all aspects. Our conclusions on what we believe will affect our survival of this imminent threat, one which can only be described as an extinction-level event. People from all walks of life are telling me that we are in the latter days, that the end times are near, not because someone in a church pulpit told them so, or because they read about it in some news article. They are telling me this because they are observant. They follow the movements of the sky and the earth. They are in tune with the realm of nature, which indicates that something is not right with the world or with its inhabitants. It is a feeling which can only come from within. And it is those people who will be best prepared for the day of reckoning, which will come upon us all like a thief in the night. <laughs>